The Buffalo Bills have had three different helmet designs since the beginning of the Super Bowl era. We're gonna go over all of those and they have the exact opposite problem. Well, actually it's the same problem, but the inverse of the Patriots. Right, and good segue because if the Bills are not your team, check out the playlist for all of the other teams. Let's get right into this, Steve. In 1965 through 1973, they had your white helmet, your terrible light gray face mask. They had a red buffalo silhouette, and then they had red, white, and blue stripes. Yeah, this buffalo is just way too literal, man. The you know, more you look at it, the worse it gets. <laughs> it almost feels like a little bit of an afterthought, whoever the designer was that thought it up. Because, I mean, that's the buffalo that was on the back of the nickel, right? Right. But I kind of like that. I like the buffalo silhouette for some reason, but I do think that it is very plain and ordinary. But in 1974, they switched to the charging buffalo. It's great, great redesign and way ahead of its time for early 70s. It really reminds me of a Jaguar, right? The Jaguar car hood yeah, ornament. The charging. The charging or the Mac. Mm -hmm. Like, I absolutely love it. Yeah, so it was still that red, white, and blue stripe. Obviously, the red, white, and blue design in the actual buffalo itself with the white horns. But they stuck with the gray face mask. It's terrible. By 1974, there were other colors. And you could have chosen, let me think, red, white, or blue. Yes. And, and they it, go with drab. And it would have been better. Well, in 1977, the year of Star Wars, Steve, they changed <laughs> to blue. Fascinatingly, though, sometimes the blue on players' helmets matched the blue in the buffalo, and sometimes it didn't. Lions had this problem too. There were very limited face mask colors back then. The manufacturers were reusing different colors of their own. So which means you had different colors in the same game. Originally, it was a, more of a royal blue and then they switched and made it darker. And then this color here is going back and I would call this a Seattle blue, which gotcha. some people call royal blue. I understand, yes. You got all that? And then in 1982, they went way out on the limb and made the detail bigger. It really is much bigger. Yes. Yeah. Patriots did a similar thing. Um, the Buccaneers did a similar thing. So it was all around that 80s. You know, that was the cool thing to do. Hey, let's go make our decals bigger. In 1984, this is what I would consider to be one of the big helmet changes, is they switched from white helmets to red helmets. Yeah, with the blue mask. I absolutely love this look. 84 to 86, red helmet, blue face mask, same red, white, and blue decals. Right. 1987 to 2001, helmet and decals stay the same, white face mask. Good change. It's yeah. good. I, I get it. You following me here? 2002 to 2010, that's when the blue went from a navy, a darker blue, down to what we have here, more of a Seattle blue or royal blue. Still, white face mask. For their 94 special, a lot of these teams had 94 special. This is kind of their throwback or throwback inspired helmet. They kept the red helmet with the white face mask and they did a white standing buffalo. I think that's cool. I actually think that's cool too. They just went with their red helmets and made it work. But where's the blue helmet? So the, so the Bills haven't done a blue helmet yet. Personally, it works. They could do it. They've worn blue jerseys. They've worn red jerseys. They've worn yeah. white jerseys, mm, yeah. right? Well, hey man, maybe you'll start a trend. You know who else agrees with me on this? Um, hmm. Hmm. Josh Allen. <laughs> yeah. Josh Allen agrees with me because give the guy credit. He likes to troll the Bills Mafia. And sure does. sometimes even he's fooled people on the team where he's come out and practice. Sometimes with a red helmet, sometimes with a blue helmet. And guess what? Those designs look really good. They do. They do. I, I don't know, man. The blue, and you nailed it. It's time. So that was their phase of red helmets from 84 through 2010. And then in 2011, they bring back literally the exact same design from the 74 helmet, except the blue, again, is a slightly different color. They bring back those gray face masks. So throughout those years, they would sprinkle in, every once in a while, they give you a taste of what they should be doing better, which is they put a white face mask on there. Now they're wearing this look, super clean, it's got white with some silver flake in it, which looks great. And then you got the white face mask and the, the stripe kind of it gets wider yeah. in, the, in the backs. It's kind of like a pair of bell bottoms. Yeah, everything, everything about these helmets are super nice. I do think my favorite of all of these is one that didn't exist. It's the one that Josh Allen fooled everybody with, the blue, that anodized blue. It looks awesome. 
I do think that that is a better look than yeah. any of the ones that they wear, but I'm gonna stick with my favorite helmets of what actually existed in the real world, Steve. To me, I am torn between the standing buffaloes, but I'm gonna go with the red helmet and the white standing buffalo with the white face mask. There you go. And obviously this one was all about the Bills, and if you stuck around, thank you. And if the Bills are not your team, check out the playlist with all of the other 31 teams. Be sure to let us know which is your favorite helmet.